This is a very interesting case on tooth number 19 at a previous root canal. And check out that mesial aspect. It's filled short and there is a periapical lesion. We did a limited field of view 3D CBCT to make sure there was no fracture present. We can see there is bone destruction on that mesial root, especially that mesial buckle. As we turn it towards the lingual, the bone looks fine here. There's no issues on that lingual aspect and no real issues on that distal aspect. And it's very important to be able to evaluate this on a limited field of view 3D CBCT. So we took a sagittal slice here, or coronal slice rather, we can see the mesial buckle, the mesial lingual root filled, but they were actually filled short. And so the question is, was there a mid mesial? We did this case in one visit using Triton as our irrigation solution and also Zen Seal as our bioceramic root canal sealer. And this is the completion here. We brought the patient back in six months. They were asymptomatic, beautiful healing happening on that mesial root. We did a limited fill of view 3D CBCT to make sure there was osseous healing taking place. And it definitely was taking place. And also so look at this axial slice. Mesial lingual mid, mesial and also mesial buccal canal were located and all had separate portals of exit which caused this area to heal. So the studies show incidences of the mid mesial roots between 8.6 and 32%. Most of the time they found in younger patients and even higher in males than females. And the location is usually on the right side. I talk more about this in my textbook.